Oh, I'm gonna die, 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 I'm
Dang it, I missed one. I think I should still be okay without grabbing that one, though. You are the real number one. Oh, Epic shh. Tucker Carlson gets knocked by Media Matters. Democrats re-embrace socialism. Oh, Felix, you want to buy back your super awesome chair? <laughs> Why'd you steal my chair? In fact, I am a mythical creature, like a winged pegasus or some sort of griffin. And I guess the idea is that I'm so fantastic that I'm not even real, but you wish I were real. This appeals to my ego. Honestly, I needed the money. Okay. Save point. Oh my god, I suck. There we go. There we go. Nom 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 nom. Oh my god, really? Did I pass him? I did. Here's your 399 chair. Perform the epic 399 smash. But can you do this? Nice. Woo! I have never felt such fear. Walking into that godforsaken place. So much loss. So much heartache. I'll be honest. I almost turned back. But Marcia's soft voice reverberated. That's a word that I use in my mind. She made me strong. She made me brave. And I took a step into the meme cemetery. <laughs> I love how they kept in his laugh from him recording the audio, probably. That's right, motherfucker. Zero depth. Three nine nine. That's what that's that mean. A tombstone. Uganda Knuckles, born January 2018, died July 2018. Got it. Really lasted that long. Do you know the way? Oh yeah. Ah. Yes. I do I do suck, so that that is a given. I suck at platformers. A tombstone of Slippy. Hey buddy, I miss you so much. You are one of my best friends. It was incredible growing alongside you in your career. To the thick and thin. I was and am there for you. I love you. Will you find your love and bring it to me? I wonder if you've got me. I'll never forget you, Slippery. Felix, I'll remember you saying that always. Now go and find your love and bring it back to me. Oh god, the stupid boar vessel. 
No, 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 no! Kill this guy. Then kill this guy. Come on, no! No, 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 no. Ha 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 Come on, come on. Mm. It was really cool though, because I... I watched him just build these levels from just Photoshop layers. And when it all comes together, it's just... It's so cool seeing it. It really puts a perspective on how, how hard game developers work to... Uh, to create something and just like all the tiny little mundane tasks like working on like this this window here to make this window look good and uh, a tombstone e deep fried out of existence yep that's definitely how e was deep fried out of was dead killed death Oh, come on. Dang it. Oh, come on! There, there is a way to, uh... To jump up, hit it, and come back. There we go. That's what I wanted. Yas! Okay. Go back up here, because I think this might be where the the slippy love is. Maybe not. I think it might be a little bit further in that other direction. his heart. Come on, bro. Ow. Yes. Sweet, sweet monetization. Stupid, I have to go to Slippy first. Oh well, we got those coins anyways. Slippy! Felix, you found your love. Place it in my hands so I can hold it forever. I love you, Slippy. Slippy was such a cool little toad. PewDiePie just got him as like a joke. And then ended up really liking, you know, real really liking the uh the pet but they're they're really hard to care for there's like nothing that explains how to uh how to take care of okay surprise oh felix i love you so much told you i'd show up when you need me thank you slippy Chunga, 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 big chungus. God, for only surviving for like two and a half months or whatever, it was an iconic meme. I really liked it. Big chungus. Oops. 
Goose Rain. Hey, Felix. It's Goose. I wanted to thank you. Thank you for making me a meme. But you should know, I'll never be a dead one. Because I'm Batman. <laughs> because I'm Batman. And Batman never dies. <laughs> when he just flies away, that's so cool. <laughs> you can't defeat me. There is a place that I have great confidence in uh, called Turnabout Ranch. Would you like to go get treatment? It's just a quick trip on this rocket. Elon lent it to me for such occasions. It's reusable and runs on... I can't, I can't mimic Dr. Phil's iconic voice, sorry. Got a brand new study that ranch on Mars. It's also been particularly helpful in their subscribers. Sorry, I, I'm not good at reading out loud. All right, let's get the coins we need. I think it's 600. Come on. Come on. Come at me. There we go. Swine. Get over here. Come on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Almost dead. Oh my god. Their missiles are no joke. There we go. Oh yeah, I didn't read this one. Scare PewDiePie Season 2. The highly anticipated Scare PewDiePie Season 2, born June 2016, died almost immediately. February 2017. Cause of death. Racism. <laughs> 600, right? That's all I needed. Thank you for these monetization coins. Now get in that rocket and fly to Mars. If I wasn't lonely already, I was lonely now. 300 days aboard that cold and cramped rocket. It felt like a lifetime. Supplies were running low. I was scared. I was thirsty. I was hungry. I was even tempted to eat one of my legs. Mancia, are you out there? Well, you didn't eat your legs, Felix, because you don't actually have any. That's right, motherfucker. Zero depth. Elon's good old rocket. No, not the nine-year-olds. Get out of here. Ow! Oh my god, I'm gonna die by this one little nine-year-old. <laughs> jump, jump, and then hit. Thank you.
No! No! God, those missiles! I love the design of the nine-year-olds, the freaking <laughs> propeller hat and a little uh, wheel instead of legs. Come on. Come on. Oh god. Okay. I need I need G fuel desperately. Okay, hopefully there's some G fuel up here. Gotta wait for that to get lower. Oh there we go. Nah! Dang it. Oh no. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Come on, let me up, let me up. Let me in! Oh, another one, another one. Really? Wow. I was doing so well. And one frickin' little rocket. That's right, motherfucker. Zero death. Well, at least it doesn't respawn. Oh, does it respawn all the mobs? I didn't think it did. Yes! Oh, God! Forgot that there's so many over here. I'm gonna grab all these, then I'll go back up, grab my G Fuel, go back up and defeat the rest of them. Ah, dang it. Wow! <clears throat> wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. No, you are dead. Ow. Ah. <laughs> I forgot about this. Forgot about this. It's Elon Musk. Have you seen this? <laughs> it's a dead dolphin! <laughs> Anyways, why do you buy a three floor with just one monetization coin? Well, it's not a flamethrower. If it was, it would cost a million monetization coins. Yeah, I'll take it! Woo! Oh, the poor, the poor, poor dead dolphin. Also a meme. No! I pressed space. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, there we go. And huh, batteries. Then I just go down here, right? Thank you! That feels but Oh, I forgot to talk to it before. It's the, uh, the Curiosity Rover that, um... That recently died, or did it end up not dying? I don't know. It was a meme, too, but... I know, I put them in wrong! Thank you. No, it blew up. I couldn't bear to watch it, but it blew up the, uh... Elon Musk's Tesla that was launched into space. <laughs> Come on. Whoa. Ow. 
No, no! Oh, I'm gonna die, 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 I'm
Marcia! I command thee! Rise from the grave! No! Dang it! Oh yeah, I forget he shoots missiles now. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good! Ah! I'm okay. There's just so much going on there. You can't- if you- If I dodge the missiles, I get hit by the- By the lightning. If I dodge the lightning, I get hit by the nine-year-olds. It's challenging just a little bit. But luckily, I think I just have to restart this battle. But now I don't have my G fuel. I think, um, do I have any over here? Okay, I still have a little bit. I just need to go over that way, I think, when the uh, nine year olds come. I don't know. Punch the rockets? I didn't think you could. Oh my god, thank you. I'm pretty sure you added that G fuel because I really needed it. I think he made this scene a little bit easier because it was it was really challenging before. Ah! Naughty puppy. Felix. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for causing an apocalypse. I was jealous and I was a bad dog. Sorry, I'm not really centered anymore. Please forgive me. This might be a terrible segue, but a nuke is about to blow. Can you help me out of here? There we go. Thank God that rocket had just enough fuel and just enough room for my friends to head home. As for me, I'm just glad I could see them one last time. Just glad I could say goodbye. Or was it they nine-year-olds used to call me? That's right. PewDiePie. My name is PewDiePie. <laughs> End in Swedish. End in Swedish in Swedish is slutet. S L U T E T. Uh, and then you have the PewDiePie DVD logo. Music by By For By Forever is the name of the, the, the artist who made the music for this game. Which is just really awesome. Thank you, nine-year-old army, for your ideas. Yes. I am a nine-year-old. In the nine-year-old army. <laughs> Produced by Bob A. Vagana. <laughs> Subscribe to PewDiePie. By the way, link in the description. Awesome game. 
Um, the game was designed to kind of dramatize this battle between PewDiePie, an independent YouTuber who's worked his ass off over the years to uh, build up this following and him fighting against this huge, huge corporation in one of the most populated countries in the world. T-Series releases 20 videos a day because they're a music label, a production label. So there's hundreds, probably thousands of artists that are under their name that that and 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 allegedly this is and allegedly I don't know if it's proven or not. If you create a Google or YouTube account in India, you're automatically subscribed to them. They have a population of 1.3 billion people. So compared to even the US where it's, you know, uh, several hundred million, it's um, it's kind of hard to compete. And with a company that's so massive, it really the game is really kind of like a statement as you know, rising up against the man, against these huge corporations, because YouTube was designed as a place for independent creators. You know, these these artists, these passionate people who who want their voice to be heard, their art to be shown, their comedy to be laughed at. And T-Series, they've been around since the 80s. And I mean, I respect music and video production and everything that T-Series stands for, but these huge companies using YouTube as a platform to, to grow is also OK, but it's almost like corporations have to be in a different bracket. It's like like corporations have followers because you're following this huge company. T-Series doesn't care about the ad revenue that they're making on the uh, their songs. They, they probably already make their millions of dollars from from uh, from selling their music to, you know, the billion people in, in India. Um, but people like PewDiePie who make a living off of ad revenue, you know, having subscribers, having a following on YouTube specifically is what means so much. And so this whole meme of the subscriber war of PewDiePie being ahead is really just a testament to independent YouTubers and how hard that we work. And I'm just starting to realize how hard it is to work and to, to get a lot of content out on YouTube. And it just kind of sucks when these huge companies um, just can whiz by because they have that clout. They have hundreds and thousands of people working for them all funneled through this one channel. So if you heard about the drama of of this and PewDiePie versus T-Series, whether you like PewDiePie as a person or not, whether you agree with him of, in any of the controversies that you may have heard of, remember that this whole meme is, even though it might be a joke and even though PewDiePie himself, you know, he doesn't really care about being the most subscribed person and being more popular than T-Series, he cares about his community. He cares about YouTube and what it originally stood for when it was built just like a decade-ish ago. So if you support creativity, if you support the internet and what YouTube was was created for, then subscribe to PewDiePie. You don't have to watch his stuff. Just be a part of the uh, the war against T-Series and, and don't be the, the people either who are like T gay and India sucks because that's not what it's about. It's not about hating on a, a corporation. It's not about hating on a country. It's it's about supporting independent creators. So make sure to subscribe to the people on YouTube that you enjoy watching and avoid using ad block. I know how annoying it is, but um, the annoying ads you get before YouTube videos are a lot of times the only way people make um, many on YouTube. So. I was not planning to do a rant uh, or a uh, public service announcement at all, but that just kind of kind of slipped out, uh, mainly because I beat the game a lot faster than I did the first playthrough when when I, you know, it was years since I played a platformer game. But anyways, uh, if you enjoyed this video, if it made you smile, uh, give it a like. I will link the the uh, game in the description. It is free on PC and Mac, but you can um, you can donate money to. Thomas Brush, who uh, is at most games, who made the game, as well as Gamers for Good, the charity, um, the charity that helped make the game. I forget the gentleman's name who did the artwork. He was um, he used to work for Blizzard, but he works for Gamers for Good. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll link that stuff in the description and hope you have a good day, night, life or whatever. Subscribe to PewDiePie and me.
please, if you want. You don't have to. I'm lonely. 